Hey guys, DMS here. On today's two minute tip, we're gonna be talking about soundstage and imaging. What are they and what's the difference? Let's find out. So let's jump right in with soundstage and the basics of it. Now, there are much more in-depth definitions of these terms, but I'm gonna try and knock them out in the simplest, most basic forms possible so you guys can understand the differences between them without having to get too far into the technicals. So soundstage, I feel like the term in itself is reasonably self-explanatory. Soundstage is literally a stage of sound around you. In really simple terms, in a headphone, it would be the ability for the headphone to present instruments in accurate space around you, not necessarily directionally, but distance. Wise. So if you were to be sitting in a seat at an orchestra, you're not going to sound like the violins are right here next to your ears. It's going to sound like they are out in the room around you. You're going to hear the room. You're going to hear space between the instruments and yourself, depending on how it was recorded. For some things like the Sennheiser HD650, it does not have very big sound stage. However, it does accurately represent generally where the microphones are placed. So if a microphone is placed right next to the string of a guitar, it's going to sound like that guitar string is plucking right next to your ear. It's a very intimate headphone with not very big sound stage. However, it does fall apart a little bit when you place it in a room, trying to pick up a room microphone or something that's gonna be micing a large space, you don't quite get the same spacing. Whereas headphones like the Modhouse Argon that are known for massive soundstage can really immerse you in a very large space. So I might be listening to that same guitar string um, and it sound like it's being plucked out in the room next to me instead of right into my ear. Now, imaging is the accuracy of the placement of these things. Josh had a really good explanation of this on his channel. It's like taking a rubber band, drawing a bunch of lines on it and stretching it out. Now, stretching that rubber band out would be like stretching out your sound stage. The imaging points will spread apart too. So once again, if you're listening to an orchestra, you can clearly tell where the strings are, where the brass is and everything throughout. Or if you have a singer that's going to be mixed through center channel, which generally is right front forward in front of you or inside your head, depending on how your headphones image, you're going to hear it in that space, whereas some may not have a clear center image. And that sound may come across and then jump to the other side. Now, vocals aren't always mixed to center, but it's a pretty common practice. So in short, soundstage is like the width and depth of the room around you, where imaging is the ability to accurately pinpoint where each individual instrument is. So guys, I hope you liked that simplified explanation of soundstage and imaging. If you did, please leave a like down below and a comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you want early access to videos like this one, you can check out the Patreon linked in the video description. And as always, don't forget to stick around and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until the next one, guys. Peace.